to see you didn't do your thing. <laughs> Ready? Okay. <coughs> Hey everyone, welcome to <coughs> Gee, I can't stand colds. Ready? Hey everyone, welcome to another Monday morning starter. All right, so today I have five tips for the school kids. You know, I look at school kids growing up and I think to myself, you know when people used to say to you, you're at the best time of your life when you're at school? And I used to say, this is the worst time of my life at school. <laughs> like, I couldn't stand it. But I sort of think it is. And the reason that they say that is because you have your whole life in front of you. And it's a really exciting time because you're going from a school kid to an adult and then you make choices and you're basically designing your life. So the choices that you make from this point onwards are going to set you up forever. Forever. Remember that. Okay, so here's five tips. Um, just don't be in a rush. Life, there's a lot of life to go, and you know, some people rush out and have sex with everyone. They rush out and they party their heads off. They rush out and they do all this sort of stuff. I, I think, um, and, and even like trying to decide what you want to do right now, you don't, just don't be in a rush. Like, allow life to show you, but you gotta make good decisions along the way. Um, if there's one thing that I've learned over the years, and part of this video is me looking back, going, what would I have done if I was a school kid again and moving forward? And the right decision is always the right decision. Like it will, you'll almost like, sometimes look back, if you just take your time around making decisions, sometimes you look back and go, I'm really glad I didn't do that. So you're going to get your peas, you're going to get your green peas, you're going to get your blacks. That's all given. You know, you're going to go out like, um, you're going to party a bit, you're going to do all this sort of stuff, but don't be in a rush to do it so young. S start making amazing decisions around what's your life going to look like? You know, like even getting a partner and relationships, bloody hell, you you're young. Don't worry about it for a while. Just. Be concerned about what is your life going to be. You don't have to get so serious so quickly. What do you see yourself? Start creating the vision. Give all your energy to the vision of your life. What do you want to become? You have complete choice around designing your life. You know, that's the most exciting thing ever in your life. You have complete control over designing your life. It's like you've got a block of land and you can design any house you want to put on it any house you want in in your mind you can design that's that's what you're doing with your life you have a complete clear block of land make really good decisions around longer term don't rush no need to rush i want you to learn about marketing yourself and he, here's why getting a job and whether you want to be an entrepreneur or you want to be this or what it doesn't matter you you'll work it out you don't have to know what you're going to do in five seconds it's going to actually come over time. But if you need, go and get a job and, and work. Okay, you, if there's one thing that I reckon employers look for down the track, it's what sort of work ethic did this kid have from school, from young. There's nothing more. I went to an auction yesterday and there were four girls on the house next door. <coughs> they baked Anzac cookies, cupcakes, something else. They had a whole really well presented table with all of these things that they made overnight and they were selling them. Smart idea. Because there was all these, probably a hundred people, Jack. What do you reckon, hundred people at this people. auction yesterday? Jack and I bought some Anzac biscuits. I gave them $10 for two biscuits because I just reward effort. But they were seven, eight, ten years old and uh, that's awesome. You know, work ethic, you can't train work ethic. You have to have hunger in this life or it's going to eat you up. I'm telling you, you have to have hunger. You want to go get a job? <clears throat> it's not the most skilled that we look for at all. It's the keenest. It's the keenest. You have to market yourself 
so much. Whether you want a job at Macca's, you want to go get a job at Macca's, you ring that manager every day and you say, I want to work for your company. I want to work for your shop. What do I need to do? You go in there, say, hi, I'm Matt. I'm at school. I'm in year 11. I want to work for your company. Do you have any positions? No, we don't have any today. Great. I'll be back on Wednesday to ask again. This life will reward hunger and effort. Remember that. Getting a job is about competition. It's not about skills so much when you're your age. You want to go and get an apprenticeship, you have to persevere your way to get somebody to say, I want that kid. <coughs> I would ring up. You want to be a hairdresser? Same thing. Any principal. You want to go work for Bill Gates? Same principle. You need to persevere your way to get it, but you also need to market yourself. I want you to start learning about marketing. Because if you want to go get a job, you have to stand out. You have to stand out. You have to make that employer go, wow, that's pretty cool. I sent a videotape to John McGrath 25 years ago to meet him, to meet him. He rang me from that videotape. The idea was from somebody else who's really good at marketing. I got, he said, come down for breakfast. I drove down for breakfast to see him. You know that one meeting changed my life? It changed my life because I took the time to market myself to get his attention. John McGrath, if you don't know who he is, he, he owns, he started McGrath. He's probably the hardest guy in real estate to get an appointment with. I got that, I had breakfast with him. Today I own five, five or six McGrath offices. I have 130 people that work with us and I'm, I'm a great friend of his now. You want a job? I want you to understand what it's gonna to take to market yourself to get that job wherever you wanna work for now. And I want you to keep being so persistent, not a pain in the bum, but so consistent and nice around being there and being there, you're gonna actually out persist anyone else who wants the job there. That's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do lots of stuff in the life section of this, and I'm gonna show you how to get a job. That's what I wanna do. I want you to get the best job that you wanna get. And remember this, if you remember nothing off this video, at all, nothing, you get to the end and go, I can't remember what Matt said. I want you to remember this. You become like who you hang around. You become like who you hang around. I want you to ingrain that into your head. You become like who you hang around. You hang around with drop kicks, I'm telling you, you'll be a drop kick. You hang around with studious, ambitious, Focus kids, you will become that. If you're a sports person, you, be, you hang around the best sports people that you know who want to succeed in that area. Stay busy, kids, stay busy. Do not hang around doing nothing because I don't know if you've ever heard, but an idle mind is a devil's playground. It's a great saying. When you've got nothing to do, you get bored. Bored kids, trouble, plain and simple. Pick something that you love and you give all of your time, energy, effort around it and give to it, you will succeed at it. But make sure you choose five people that are your closest friends that you spend lots of time with who have the same interests and focus as you. If they're going nowhere, you'll probably go nowhere. Probably, all right? Just a little tip from me, choose carefully. Two more things, you need money, All right. you, you, need, you need money. Money is important, not everything, but it's important. Like Zig Ziglar said, it's up there with oxygen, so it's sort of important. Start saving your money and stop buying things. You don't need the best phone, just make calls on it and get on the internet, whatever you need to do. You don't need the best car, you don't need the best clothes. As long as you're not naked, you can just wear clothes. Okay, that's all you need for now. You will make different decisions as you earn more. Your mum and dad do not support your life. They help. Okay, when you're old enough, get out there, get a job, buy your own things. Then you don't have to ask anyone for nothing. Nothing, no one. No one's controlling your life, you are. You need a hand? Mum and dad, can I borrow some money and pay it back? You must pay it back. Because all of these little things are training you how to function in life. 
if people give you stuff all the time, you're not going to learn how to do it out there. It's why a bird pushes its little baby bird out of the nest to fly at an early age. Teach them. I want you to learn self-sufficiency. I want you to get set up early. I've just done a video in the life section on getting ahead financially if you're a young kid. Keep an eye out for it. But you need money. Don't spend it all. Don't waste it all. And go and earn it. Last thing, <clears throat> you, must, you must start finding something that you really want to do. This is probably, probably the most important life tip I could give you. You've got to get interested in, try lots of things. You've got to try lots of different jobs. Don't think you have to work life out by the time you're 20 years old. You won't. But you have to get very passionate and focused around the interest of life. Spend time in good areas. So if you're interested in computers, find out why people succeed in that area. Become the best programmer you can, whatever areas that you want to do. Life is open for you. If you want to be a filmer or photographer or a musician or whatever, whatever interests you in your heart, people quite often say, because what happens in life, kids, this is what happens. People don't know what they want to do and they don't give much effort to it either. So they go get a job and then they stay in that job and they do that thing. They don't really like it, they sort of like it. They, they know they've got to get a job and they keep doing it. And then life gets busy around them. They get bills, they get things, they get stuck. They get stuck because they can't actually, they want to do something else. They want to go explore and things and see what else is out there, but they actually get stuck in this job because they've really given no thought or effort or energy to their vision and they get stuck in a rut at a job that they don't like. And over the years, they, uh, year after year after year keeps going and then they end up meeting someone and then they get a house and all this. And then all of a sudden, 10 years goes by, 15 years goes by, and they can't stand life. They can't stand getting up, going to somewhere they don't like to go because they've got bills and things and then they get fear around stopping and they just get in this rat race round and round and round and round. You have total freedom, ability, control over living at a really low cost rate and trying lots of different things. And seeing over time, it might take you two years, three years, five years, whatever, more. But you've got to wait for that thing to resonate so deeply with your heart that you go, this is what I want to spend the rest of my life doing. This is it. And, it, and at your age, it doesn't matter what you do because you can turn anything into a fulfilling, rewarding, long-lasting, successful, financially rewarding, passionate career. That's the key to, that's why you're in the best time of your life. That's why right now, because you can make changes easily with little damage. Hear what I'm saying, kids. Do great things, surround yourself with great people, make great choices, be passionate about the excitement of life, understand that it's literally a treasure chest out there for you, do things that resonate with your heart. Do jobs along the way to fund your life as well. But find that thing that resonates with your heart. Then, then you'll end up living a life that you love. They're my five tips. Get to it. And if you've got any questions around this, either put it in the section underneath or call me if you're a young person and I'm happy to give you the guidance personally because I want to help you create the life that you want. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward. See you on the next video.